Hi. Did you just see yourself in there? <laughs> that was brisk. <laughs> Bring back up we go. Woo, 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 monkey! Everything. Woo! There's the rock pile. Somewhere over there. Hey, man. Say hi to the camera. What's up? <laughs> Oh yeah. But then again, it's hard to take it when he's right. Yeah, you have a minimum, minimum focus distance on the lens. Right, there he is, still below us. Where are you at? I just heard you, you're close. Where'd it go? Where's the ground going to go? He's right Oh, he's right over there on that rock, the yeah, little stair. There. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm at Hatcher's Pass again with my nieces. And it is cold up here. It's probably, what do you think, 50 degrees? Miss Vivi, 40. And there's Vivi. She looks like a turtle right now. 
but it's chilly. The sun's gone behind the mountains. Let me show you the other side over here. You can see the sun over there, none on us. And uh, we're playing with pikas, and they've come less than a foot for a mevelin today. It's pretty cool. We've had some ground squirrels, but the pikas have been great. They've been coming really close. So we got some pictures and some video of them in the flowers, which is really cool. And uh, my camera is too cold right now. Vivian's not recording me. I'm having to record myself. So she's out of a job. Hey. Is Mitch getting close? Mm, it's not close enough for me. <laughs> so they have named the pika that keeps coming next to us Mitch. And the ground squirrels are all called Goober, every one of them. So we have our little nicknames for them. And if they're plural, they're called the Goober family. Yeah, yes. Say that again. And if they're plural, they're called the Goober family. Called the Goober family. So we're having fun up here photographing these guys. So we'll play some of the video and some of the pictures and stuff and share with you. And I think Mitch, our Picus, is heading back to us. So we're going to get back to filming and taking pictures of these guys. So Evelyn's running the R5 with the 7200 millimeter uh, Mark III. I'm running the R7 with, um, I repurchased the 100 to 500 RF lens. So I'll do a, a review with the R7 with this. Um, kind of surprised me some of the way it reacts with the R7 versus the R5. It does react different than, but I'll, I'm gonna test my R5 with the R100 500 also. But anyway, that's what we're running. So we're going to go chase this guy some more. So I'll talk to you guys later.